Hi everyone, James from Rocks and James. Tomorrow, today we're going to talk about our morning fat brain brew, right? Because we do want a fat brain. Your brain is made almost primarily of fat, and the fats that you eat will help that brain. And that'll be a subject for another video. But really what we want to do is just show you what I use and how I make it. Many of you who already know me have asked about this. You know this is what I drink in the mornings. This is my breakfast. My family uh, consumes this in the morning, and I don't really consume anything else until it's time to eat in the afternoon for a lunchtime type meal. So what I want to do is just show you the tools, show you the ingredients. I'm not going to get into the particulars of measurements and give you a lot of at, uh, you know, intense detail about each product. But if you'll comment below, I'm happy to send you the uh, recipe that I have for this. Now, this is similar to a lot of different um, hot drinks out there. A lot of people use <clears throat> coffee, and uh, that coffee, uh, they put their fats in. I don't use coffee. So let's uh, jump into what I do use. I happen to use what's called Creo Brew, and this is just cacao beans that have been roasted like coffee. This is a Ghana French roast, which means these cacao beans came from Ghana, Africa, and they've given it a, a, um, a French roast, okay? Let me show you what that looks like. Got a coffee scoop sitting in here. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop some up, and you'll be able to see right here, we've got this, these, these they look like coffee grinds, kind of, just a little lighter color, and that's the cacao, and they smell Oh, just like chocolate. I mean, it's just like a nice roasted chocolate. And so it's a great aroma. Some of you are liking your coffee aroma if you're going to move away from coffee for whatever reason. Some people that I know will brew half this and half coffee to give that kind of chocolatey uh, experience. Now, this is free of sugar and the things you don't want. This is just the cacao beans that have been roasted like coffee. Now you can also, if you, if you prefer more of a coffee flavor and want to uh, avoid coffee, some people that I've been talking to would like a coffee alternative for whatever reason. This is called a Ramon seed or ground Maya seed. So it's known as the Maya nut or Ramon seed. They fall in the jungles randomly throughout Central and South America and they collect those in a fair trade and, and ecologically safe manner and they roast them up just like coffee. So you can use those, either one of those, and you can brew them in a coffee maker, or you can use a French press. Some of you are familiar with either one or may have one that you prefer over the other. Either one works. And um, then you need a blender. This is an inexpensive blender. It's made by Farberware. I got it from Walmart, I think. It was like 18 bucks. Now, if you have a Vitamix or some other high-end blender, um, and I, I would say very high-end, make sure they have like a polycarbonate type uh, pitcher. This one's glass, so if you're going to use an inexpensive one, make sure it's glass, and be careful of this plastic rim because using hot liquids continually, if you overstress this to over tighten it, it can crack. But this has worked out well for us, and my wife prefers the inexpensive one and how it blends everything uh, really well, really creamy, really smooth when it comes out of this versus our Vitamix, which works fine, but it just has a little bit different texture to it from this. And it's inexpensive, right? So if you don't already have a high-end blender like the Vitamix, which I do recommend because there's so many other things you can do with it, um, then you just run to Walmart, get a nice you know, glass blender that has a good even blend to it. Okay, so those are your tools. Here's your base. We just talked about that. Let's talk about the fats. Fats are super important. You can't be without fats. You need fats. No matter what it says out there, it's been wrong. Dietary fat does not equate to fat in the system. If you eat fat along with sugars and other foods, then you got a problem. So this, when you get my recipe, you'll see at the bottom in big, bold capital letters, absolutely no sweeteners. And I repeat it a couple times because this is not hot chocolate. This is not your coffee full of sugar. This is something that is simply fat in a comfortable, warm base drink okay so fats we got our mct oil right and mct oil is something that your body can use very well and easily if you feed it right for energy and it does a myriad of other things in your body as far as feeding your brain neurological cognitive advantages 
Um, but not all MCT oils are alike, so you need to make sure that you don't skimp when you go out there and start going, oh man, the brand he likes, which is the Bulletproof brand, because I know how they process these, I know how uh, stringent they are and what they require as far as you know, making sure there's no impurities and no uh, fungus and things like that, right? No molds. So, um, you know, I use the Brain Octane, but there are other MCT oils. Just make sure that it's a quality oil that is focused on making, bringing out that C8 chain in the fatty uh, molecule. So that's uh, the MCT oil. Uh, I use ghee. This is by Ancient Organics. Uh, these guys use open fires to process it, and it's from 100% pastured and grass-fed cows. People can say grass-fed, but still, if they don't say 100% pastured or grass-fed, then that can mean that they're also grain-fed, which now creates a problem. So you can also tell by the smell of it, it has a rich, deep, caramely smell, whereas others that are steam processed don't have quite the smell and don't have quite the, they don't last as long as either, right? All right, so, um, those are your fats, okay? And then another fat I like is cacao butter. I can show you what that looks like. It's basically when you process the cacao seed um, and you cook, you uh, heat it up, it has fat in it naturally and it's good fat and it separates. And here's kind of what that looks like. It looks white, it's not dark at all, but when you smell it, smells just like chocolate and it's a fat and it's a good fat. So I use that fat as well when I make it. All right, now there's a couple things I add to that drink. Um, I add some cacao powder. So I like to get a little extra of the actual powder into the drink. It's a good prebiotic, which means it's food for your gut bacteria. And when you, if you feed your gut bacteria the right things, then the good gut bacteria begin to flourish and grow and, and overwhelm the bad bacteria. So you want to feed those and adds great flavor, all right? So we've, we've got uh, also, I add a little collagen protein. Again, this is by the Bulletproof Company because I know uh, that they have really good quality control, testing, that sort of thing, and they're looking to make sure that this is from 100% grass-fed cows. Uh, and collagen is at the, on the cellular level, is, at the, is, is a major building block for so many different aspects of your body and it being able to function and be supported in the way that you want. So, if you have, if you, if you're, if you're uh, a vegan or something, and you want to use something that is from an animal source, there are uh, plant-based fats that you know. Just be careful to make sure you research what are the good ones, what are the right ones, and um, there are also vegetable-based proteins. But I would stay away from your soy-based and and anything out there that may uh, spike your blood sugar. Okay. All right. So got those ingredients. Let's make it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our ghee in, and we're just gonna put that in the blender. All these just get dropped right in. So get that in there, and we'll put that into the blender. Nice, rich fat, little scoop for good measure. Good luck. And then what we'll do is put in our MCT oil. And we'll put that in. Now, the thing with MCT oil you want to be careful of is, again, this is another reason it's really good to have a high-quality MCT oil. I would start out, if I were you, I use, I mean, I use a couple tablespoons. But you're going to want to start out with probably, if you're not used to consuming this in this format, you're going to want to uh, start out with about half a tablespoon. And that is so that we can avoid disaster pants, okay? You just... That will not be fun. You're driving to work, you're commuting to work, you get to the office, and you just can't quite make it to the bathroom because of disaster pants. Now, that's a real thing, but if you use high-quality high MCT, start out with about half. Work your way up to one to two tablespoons over a couple weeks, you'll be fine. But just be careful. I had a friend who decided to make a big batch for the whole family and just dumped a whole bunch of that in. The whole family had disaster pants, and it wasn't fun. All right, so we got the, that fat in there. Let's go ahead and, and get this fat in there. And, and we're uh, not doing a whole cup here. The cup's just easier to get it. Put that in. It's probably about a tablespoon. Um, and then uh, we've got, now we've got our three fats in there. We're going to go ahead and put in our prebiotic. So let's get that yummy cacao powder. 
I like the stuff that's been roasted, not necessarily raw. And then let's get our collagen protein in there. Okay, so we got that in there. And then um, what I like to do to add a nice little flavor and some new, not nutritional, but some therapeutic benefit for a myriad of different support for your body is an essential oil. And again, not every essential oil is equal. The company called doTERRA, um, you know, in my research, I know these guys uh, are stringent in their sourcing requirements, testing. They don't, nobody tests essential oils like this company does. So I'm looking for safety for my family. And I know I can consume these and not every essential oil is, is that good. And you open the cap so we could put peppermint. I've got wild orange here if you like a little citrusy flavor. I've got pep or, uh, uh, frankincense. That's another awesome brain boost, really good neurological support. Um, so many other things at the cellular level and proper cellular development will help that. It doesn't necessarily have like, you know, an awesome flavor, but you probably won't notice it either. It will have like no flavor. And then cassia, which is a more cinnamony type flavor. Again, lots of benefits there for your body and support, not just an aroma or a flavor. And there's a, you know, so many other essential oils that you could also look at. But anyway, I put peppermint in here. Uh, you know, peppermint or essential oils are very concentrated and potent. So a couple drops usually does it. And over time, you may increase that as you uh, build a taste and a flavor for it. So you've got that. Once you've got your ingredients in, now it's just time to add your tea, right? Or your base, whatever it is you choose to use. And you put that in there. Now, eight ounces is a minimum is what you want to drink of this every morning. I've, I've gotten to where I drink about 16 to 24 ounces every day. You can figure out what works for you but at least a minimum of eight ounces is what you want with the ingredients that I list. And then we blend away. I usually blend for a good minute or so. I may not blend that long because of the video here and the time constraints that we want to adhere to. I can already smell the chocolate, the peppermint, it's looking nice and creamy as it gets mixed up. It'll be nice and smooth because of this way this blender works. Just a nice, even, simple blend. And we don't use this blender for anything else, really, because it's not really great for anything else. But it's great for this. It's inexpensive. Everything else we use the Vitamix for. So once it's done, then I'm looking for a cup to pour it into. It's nice and, oh man, it smells great. Pour it in there. Look at how creamy and rich that is. Imagine just starting off your day outside, sitting in the sun, on your porch, putting it in your to-go cup, drinking it on your commute. Oh man, that is good stuff. Drink your fat every morning every day. Till next time. Thanks. Morning, all you wonderful people out there. Hope you enjoyed that video on the morning brain brew that we love to brew up every morning, drink as a family for our health and wellness. You can too. If you'll just click the link in the video description down below, we'll automatically send you the full recipe and at the same time enter you into a chance to win the essential oils, my favorite essential oils for that morning brain brew. So drink your fat, click the link in the video description, get the recipe, maybe win some oils, my favorite. Hey, have a great day. See ya.